Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today we have some very, very interesting news on Tomorrowland. A big, big rumor has been verified by a couple of sources. So let's go ahead. Let's go talk about it. All right, so we got this interesting post um, on Speculation Sunday. Mondo from Firefires uh, posted, or uh, someone in the comment section said that uh, he's the, a construction worker. They got some construction bids for uh, a new Tomorrowland, a Tomorrowland construction project coming to the Disneyland Resort, coming to Disneyland Park. I'll see him. Bombshell news. And so, you know, Mondo posted the tweet. All right. Afterwards, I, tell, I talked with Mondo and uh, to see some of the deeds because I didn't see his live stream. I'm like, oh, oh, dang, okay. So the, the, he's a construction worker. He, he, you know, he's, Disney's taking bids. And so I was like, oh, okay, let's look, look at this further. Then got a series of tweets from this lovely man, Frederick Chambers. He's on Twitter here. And here's the original Mondo tweet. That's okay. Rumor. That construction uh, companies have fit the bids already for Tomorrowland construction project. First time hearing about this, but what could possibly be for? People mover, maybe just land refurb, or something funny designing launch bar. What are your thoughts? So then he quotes with this, he goes, as far as I'm aware, a new Tomorrowland is happening. Don't get too excited. We're looking at an overhaul of existing infrastructure, not a rebuild. Think of it as a higher budget redo, but at the scale of Tomorrowland 98. Which is good because I mean that infrastructure is very old and these some of these things can be torn down and uh, at least or at least removed or refurbished. So I'm glad that something is finally happening because remember, this is the concept of the new entrance for Tomorrowland that was presented to us like back in 2019. So or 2019, 2020, and then of course the pandemic happened, it got shelved and it never came back uh, on the table. But it looks like maybe this new entrance. Is back on the table, and I say this new mentions with this concept art. Because remember, this concept art was getting faded, and uh, vloggers like Fresh Bait and others pointed out online they're like, Disney, take this down. This concept art is now five years old and it's getting very faded. And Disney didn't they didn't just take it down, but they actually refreshed it and put up a new piece of concept with the same type of thing, this one, but brand new unfaded piece of concept art. And everyone's like, what the heck are you doing? Why not just take it down? Well, maybe, because clearly the Tomorrowland plan is still on the table and it seems like this entrance is still on the table because this is the concept art that's been hanging out. And they, again, Disney just recently, about a year ago now, have recently replaced it. So that's very interesting. But he goes into this Frederick Chambers who uh, as he, he just was working at Disney and um, just uh, left a few months ago, and so he, he's these are recent rumblings he's heard from his friends, friends, and still in uh, still working at Disney. They suggest that we will get at least one new attraction, which is good. It's very important that we're not just looks like we're getting gaining attraction, not losing it, which another thing, which is great. Disneyland so good at gaining attractions and not losing anything, which is pretty crazy. So it looks like we're getting one new attraction. Star Tours and Space Mountain will remain mostly unchanged. Space Mountain, of course, is getting a refurb now. No, probably to prepare and probably to remain open during this construction period. They're fixing the light and fixing that. It's going, going under refurb for a month, starting August 5th. He would probably September. And you know, fix some of the lights and some of those um, other infrastructure works. And uh looks like the, the reason why so this can stay open during this Tomorrowland refurb. Uh, Massive Love Hall retheme for Buzz Lightyear, Astro Blasters, and Galactic Grill. Oh, by the way, let me go to Star Tours. That's staying because, of course, they just, they just got new scenes from like Man Mandalorian and Ahsoka. So, of course, that's not going anywhere. I'll probably get some new scenes and it might get a little reaper, but they'll like, maybe fresh up the vehicles and behind the scenes guest uh, stuff there. Thank goodness there's Massive Love Hall overhaul and retheme coming to Buzz Lightyear, Astro Blasters. Uh, when Tokyo was you know, downstairs, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. We should, you know, even if we don't get that, we should, you know, get a retheme to our, our overhaul to our Buzz Lightyear because we have like one of the weakest looking ones. This, this in my Magic Kingdom, we have like one of the weakest ones. Hong Kong is, man, they have cooler vehicles. Now, Tokyo is going to have the, the Candy Crush thing, the Sugar Rush um, thing. 
So, yeah, the states need to definitely upgrade their buzz light year or totally get rid of it. I'm glad that we'll be getting a massive overhaul and rethink. Hopefully, uh, get a better, it's a better theme. Also, Pixar should stay in California Adventure. They have a whole Pixar PR, they have a whole Toy Story ride using the same shooter system that's upgraded. So, buzz light year doesn't need to be in Tomorrowland anymore. Um, made sense in 2005, does not make sense now. So that's good. I'm glad they're also yeah, I'm not overall galactic grill. Oh, cool restaurant, but the food could be better. And the whole seating and the whole arrangement, oh, it just looks dated. So it could uh, be much better there. So I'm glad they're doing that. Tomorrowland Theater, which is not being used, and that used to be home to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, will be removed and replaced. Thank goodness. Hopefully, maybe that's the new attraction will be going or something like the Starcade or something. Because again, Tomorrowland has such a uh, uh, wasted space there. Autopia, we'll get some electrification overhaul. This is something that Disney officials actually confirmed, the LA Times. They said this will be done in 2026, which is an idea of when this might be done, right? If it gets announced at T23 in a month, then maybe they'll start in 2025 or start soon after the announcement of D23, kind of keeping the land open, going things in phases, and have a, a grand opening or full completion date in 2026 with Autopia, with its electrification, and a you know, new ride, and rethink Buzz Lightyear. So I feel like that's when this is going to go ahead and get, that's the kind of target year for this to get finished here. And he goes, the only question left is if there will be enough budget to finally tear down and replace the people mover. I hope so. I hope I mean, drag funds from another project or something else. At least, even if they don't rebuild it, at least tear it down. It's such an eyesore um, there. I hope they can tear it down, but definitely replace it and uh, get a new version of the people mover. Like, again, back two years ago when Tomorrowland plans were rumored, uh, you know, there's a, a rumor for a shorter version of the people mover. I, no, it's the biggest win. They were getting. Increasingly frustrated with Disney, and increasingly frustrated with the the parks panel and the blue sky concept. Easy, easy win. Just bring back the people mover. I hope they can find the budget to do that. Um, and by the way, all this concept art this is like old concept art, so this is nothing new. He's just using again pictures of old Tomorrowland concept art from other Tomorrowland redos. He goes again. These are just rumors and rumblings I've heard at the beginning of the year, but none of it's real until we get a reveal at D23. It's true, again, all rumors until we officially confirm by Disney at D23. The worst case, we'll get the we'll only get the light tribe of Autopia, which is again that's that that's the only thing out of the, all the this has been, that's been confirmed by Disney um, to open in 2020. It'll be done in 2026. But the land definitely does need some major infrastructure repair in the near term, so something will definitely happen. So that's exciting because this is like almost forced to do it now, right? They're like forced to do it because the land needs some overhaul and, and infrastructure overhaul. So fingers crossed that they actually go ahead and do this. Um, I'm very excited, even if we get just a modest re theme or overhaul, I'm very excited to hopefully. Some of that dead space in Tomorrowland, but what is your Tomorrowland wish list? Do you think it's got me? I you know it's not guaranteed, but and the rumors again, each each G23 expo, the rumors seem to really um, heat up. My chat was super confident last time, and, and every a lot of other people were, you know, it looks like they pulled the plug at the last second. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, they they do it this time because you know they have 60 billion dollars to spend, right? So they there's really no excuses this time. This land for everything's approved, they don't. The only thing of the city to send for is approved, so they really have no excuses. So I'm hoping they can go ahead and get this done. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What is your Tomorrowland wish list? And do you think this is real and actually going to happen? Even if it's just part of it. We all know that Electrify Octopia is happening, which I would have torn that down, but that's just me. But uh, what what else do you think is going to happen? I think I think the buzz thing. You know, there's been a lot of a lot of rumors for buzz. So I feel like buzz and Autopia will certainly happen, especially because every other Disney park in the world is getting either replacing buzz, uh, or retheming it, or or just ripping it out entirely. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And hey, if you want to help out the channel, and uh, you know, you can subscribe up obviously. And, but you also become a channel member. Click that join button down below for as little as one dollar and help the channel tremendously um, and help produce great videos like these. And also get awesome perks like um, go ahead and 
you know, member own live chats and things like that. So check that out as well. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye, everybody.